Hi, this is Paul from Studio Lucid and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a quick start on making an automated drum beat uh, using the free plugin from Toybox for Reactor Blocks by Native Instruments, uh, linked below. So let's get right to it. Um, let's start off by creating a new session in your DAW. In this case, I'm using Logic. Uh, create a new instrument. I'm going to title this trigger for reasons that will be apparent in a little bit. Let's uh, record a single note here. That'll do it. Uh, let's uh, quantize that. Quarter note quantization is fine. Let's loop it for four bars, four measures. And let's turn on repeat. Okay, obviously that's not going to do anything because there's no instrument attached there. So what we want to do now is we want to open up Reactor. And once you have Reactor open, let's get this to a sensible size. Let's, uh, we want to leave the transport clear here. You'll see why in a little bit. Um, let's start with the new .nksr template. Uh, we are not going to use the a clock. So we can dump that. We're not going to use the levels, so we can dump that too. The nice thing about the NKSR format is that from the user interface, you can press the return key and you get a search box. So the first thing we're going to look for is mixer. And you'll see here we want to use a toy box free pack mix mixer. Let's get that in there. Uh, click enter again. The next thing we're looking for is a sequencer. And we are specifically looking for this one right here, Toy Box Free Pack Gate Sequencer. That's the one for us. And the third thing that we want here is a drum sequencer. So here we are. Um, Toy Box Free Pack Drums, Oscillator Drums. Okay, so let's clean things up a bit. We're going to put the mixer up here. We are going to move that over there. And now it's time to do some basic wiring. So out from our oscillator into the mixer, out of our mixer for our left and right channels. And then we are going to take a cord from gate on the node in to chain. And on the sequencer, we're going to go from gate to reset. All right. The last thing we're going to do on this one, we're going to go from accent to A. Now, we're not going to get anything at this point. So let's create um, a sequence here. Boom. Let's do this. Doop, 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 doop. Do, uh, do, 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 something like that. Now, we're going to get an interesting thing here. If we double click this, you'll see this little red light lights up. So let's double click this a couple of times. Okay, now what that allows us to do, because um, this lights up, that gives us an accent on these particular beats. You hear that accent? Now here's the cool thing, you'll notice I'm triggering this by using a key on my keyboard because we're using the note in versus um, the built-in clock. Similarly, now if I just click play on my transport, that triggers the sequence. The nice thing about that, let me stop that, that triggers the sequence. The nice thing about that is it keeps everything in time if you want to layer in some more uh, instruments other than modular. So um, we want to change these accented beats and this here's a pretty cool thing. So let's select A and down here on select, we're gonna bump that up. So let's see what happens now.
that's kind of different. Okay. All right, so that stops. Now, let's basically do that all over again. So we want another gate sequencer. Uh, here we go, gate sequencer. We're going to put it down here to keep things nice and tidy. And now we want another drum oscillator. There we go. Same kind of deal. We want to take out from here into uh, the second. And you know what? Keeping things neat and tidy. Let's get this moved down here. And same deal again. We want to take the gate into our reset patch. Uh, we don't need the accent this time, but let's see what we get from this guy. Okay, we don't have anything here because we don't have anything selected, so let's get some. There we go. That's the sound I'm looking for, kind of hi-hat sound. All right, so the next thing I want to do with this, I want to take the pitch bend and I want it to plug it into uh, channel B on the first oscillator. And I want to take the mod wheel and plug that into channel B on the second oscillator. Um, let's click on this and we're going to set this guy right here. And uh, let's click on this and we're going to set this guy right here. Let's see what we get now. on my mod wheel. Okay, that's my mod wheel. Let's try the pitch bend. Both together. All right, so the last thing I want to do here, let's add some nice effects. I am going to go with a Replica XT, if you have that. You can use the built-in Echo. Um, if you've got this, I kind of like this one. That's a bit much, so let's back it way down. Just enough to get a nice loop going. And I'm also going to add in a ROM here. Yikes, that's a bit too much. All right. All right, so we've got our hi-hat uh, on channel two. We've got our main drums on channel one. We have oscillator one being modified by the pitch bend. And we've got oscillator 2 being modified by the uh, mod wheel. So let's um, finish this off by picking up uh, sounds that we might like.
great. And there you have it. By having this driven by the transport, these basically these four beats up here, um, I find that a little bit easier than using the built-in clock, um, simply because it helps keep things in time when I start putting in uh, other tracks to accompany this. So that's how I make an automated drum beat. Obviously, there's lots and lots of uh, potential there to build that any way you want, but hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, this is Paul from Studio Lucid. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe if you like this, and don't forget to ding the bell if you want to be notified when we push out more content. Hope you enjoy this. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.